Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. Uh, so at this point, about three and a half minutes away from our liftoff time. Now the strong back is getting ready to retract. Um, fueling closeouts are underway on stage two and stage one at this point, but fueling is still going on. Um, fueling will continue until about the three minute mark. Um, this load and go procedure is something SpaceX has become quite famous for um, and quite good at where um, they don't really put propellant into stable replenish. It is load it and launch it um, and waste as little of it as possible uh, on, on the Falcon 9 system. Uh, so again, very exciting. We are getting to the business end of this countdown. Um, <laughs> the nerves are building, right, Doss? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and man, Doss's if you like Doss's setup is like impressive. It looks like he's got three cameras stacked on top of each other. He's got one on his shoulder, and he's got his backpack on, his live stream pack on. Like he's ready. Like I've just got my camping backpack here with all of our supplies <laughs> and everything. But but going back to Dragon and Falcon 9, the strong back has retracted. You can actually see that it pulled back a little bit from, I love this vantage point for the Falcon 9 because you can actually see that it pulled back a little bit there um, on our zoom here. Um, so we are at this point um, in time uh, about two minutes away from liftoff. So at this point, final fuel closeouts are underway uh, and tank pressurization for flight is underway as well. Um, Dragon has transitioned to internal power. Um, Falcon 9 has had control of the countdown since the T-minus 35 minute mark. Um, so there is no transition um, or handoff between the ground or the rocket to do at this point. That already happened. Um, and Falcon 9 is in control with the team monitoring in the background. Um, there is the final T-minus two minute vent of gaseous oxygen, the final vent of gaseous oxygen. Um, again, indicating that right now everything is on track and go at this point. Hey Chris, because of the issues we've been having with the relay, I am not going to try to turn this camera on. Okay, with perfect. You're just going to do local report? We don't want report. it to mess with the stream. Perfect. We're two minutes out. Just yep. Not enough time nope. To set so I'm recording. Perfect, perfect, right. perfect. Just so, so we'll have epic video for you of DOS's tracking video later on. <laughs> Yeah, recording the 3000 in 4K. So yeah, we'll have good video for you. Uh, in addition to the good video, I will hopefully capture it for you. <laughs> this is always a test of my tracking skills. Um, so right now we are uh, roughly a minute away from liftoff. Is that correct, Michael? Yep. Vehicle is Falcon 9 is in startup. Okay, and Michael, if you could just keep calling those out to me, I'd, I'd super appreciate that. Um, so the Falcon 9 is in startup. And launch director is go for launch at this time. This is exactly what we want to hear. We are just under 30 seconds away from liftoff. 25 seconds. Did you switch it to auto or manual DOS? Did you switch it? And we should be good with that? Okay. Okay, cool. All right, folks, here we go. The business end of our countdown. Watch that green flash. There we go. Merlin engine ignition and liftoff of the Falcon 9. The farewell flight of Dragon version 1 on its way from the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. Look at her go. is probably mine. <laughs> Your car doesn't just tweet anyone? 
no. <laughs> and we are through Max Q at this point. Falcon 9 ascending beautifully there through the night sky. That's a much better, um, well, that was a much better view at some point there. There we go. All right, we are standing by now for the um, uh, separation of the first stage coming up here. Um, and we should be able to show you that nebula uh, that occurs when uh, the first stage is, uh, does its boost back burn while the second stage is firing. But you are looking at live views of the Falcon 9 uh, thundering itself away from the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station and out toward the International Space Station. We have stage shutdown. All right, awaiting second stage ignition. There is the second stage ignition. And there is boost back. Wow. There is boost back. Look at that boost back burn and the Falcon Nebula. Gorgeous. You can see the first stage pulling up to the top. The first stage is on the top of your screen. The second stage is uh, toward the end. Sorry, folks, the camera's having a little bit of trouble focusing on it. That is the first stage you are looking at right there, continuing to do its boost back burn. My lord, that is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Wow. All right, and that boost back burn is still happening. Um, way 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 up there in the sky um and there we go um it is done boost back burn is done uh the second stage is continuing at this point to take um dragon onward you are looking now at a live view of the second stage uh michael are they on the nasa tv feed or the spacex feed Okay, perfect. You are looking now at the NASA TV feed live from the second stage. Um, we are now positioning our cameras here on the ground, getting ready to um, to find uh, the Falcon 9 first stage as it does its entry burn. We can still see the second stage. So you're looking at a live view from the second stage. and uh, We can still see it clear as day, including its contrail expanding behind it. Das, are you getting that? Uh, I'm not. Or are you seeing it at I least? See it. It, I, it, that is amazing. You can see the contrail of the second stage just expanding out. Where's the moon? Where? Oh, there. Okay. Well, the, the moon's behind us. It's not that that's lighting it up. That is incredible. I mean, we can see the plume of the second stage that's literally just being lit by its own engine. Uh, incredible. Absolutely incredible. E each mission is different, right? You can watch 80 Falcon 9s, you can watch 135 shuttles, you can watch 80 Atlases, and every single one is always incredibly different from each other. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, the callouts right now are, are indicating a nominal performance um, of the second stage as it continues to take the Dragon to orbit. Uh, what, what's its altitude right now, Michael? Is it saying on screen? No, tele no telemetry is on screen. Yeah, but nominal performance, NASA TV doesn't have any uh, telemetry uh, markers up there, but I mean, absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous is exactly what we want here. Um, okay, so at this point, we are uh, just sort of standing by waiting for the... Uh, <laughs> Okay, and about a minute to the entry burned off. Okay, thank you, Michael. So we are uh, less than a minute now away from the entry burn of the Falcon 9. Uh, if it's a, on a day launch, sometimes with these return to launch site landing um, uh, missions like this, you can actually follow the booster with the naked eye all the way back, even when its engine isn't burning. Um, but nighttime, you obviously lose it. Um, uh, you obviously lose it completely. Um, so we are just 
standing by, waiting, waiting for it to come. The second stage is continuing on to orbit. All right, entry burn coming up. This is always a lot higher up in the sky than I'm anticipating it to be. So standing by for the entry burn. There it is. Oh, I was aimed right at it almost. Woo! Look at that. I mean, almost right overhead as it comes in. That entry burn is just incredible. I mean, I'm not kidding you. It's about 80 degrees above us. It's, it looks like it's directly above. I know. It's incredible. You can see the smoke behind it, too. All right. So here, entry burn is done. Here it comes back toward land. Oh, my gosh. Guys, this is awesome. I can still see the pinpoint of light of the second stage as it as it nears the horizon too. Um, so what we're going to have in rapid succession is the landing of the Falcon 9 first stage, followed about 10 seconds later by the cutoff of the second stage and orbit insertion of Dragon. These are going to come very close together. We focus a lot on the first stage because it's so cool to watch it happen, but the primary mission is getting Dragon into orbit, which is what the second stage is continuing to do. Um, whoa, and there it is. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. All right, and we will hear the sonic boom shortly after a successful touchdown. Um, there she comes, look at that, through the trees. <laughs> All right, she disappeared from view from us. We're waiting for the light to stop. There we go. I hear cheering. I do hear cheering. We hear cheering. So we assume that means.